Hi, today we're going to be making this origami goat. We start off with a square sheet of paper. This has been made from uh, an A3 size and cut down to size. Okay, our first fold is going to be a diagonal line from here to here. I'm going to do a, a valley fold like so. Turn it around this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and find uh, a crease point along here. And the first thing we need to do is fold this in half again. Like so. And then take this point here and fold this line along this crease line here. Now we don't have to be too accurate with this. As long as we get this top point here lined up with that point here. And then press down where this edge meets this edge here. Just about a centimeter, like so. And we produce a crease here. Open it up. And then take this point here, we're going to take this point and fold it to that point there, like so. And we're going to make another crease point here, again only about a centimetre, and fold it back. Now we have a crease point here. Now we're going to take this point here and we're going to fold to this second crease point. Like so. Making sure you keep this edge nice and flush, the top edge here. Fold a little bit more than one centimeter, maybe two, maybe three centimeters, because this is actually going to be making our first fold. I've made a crease there, open it up, and open up the small sheet of paper. Now that last crease here is going to enable us to take this point here on the left and fold it over, making sure that this center line, the center crease here, lines up with this center crease here. Like so. And we can press down the fold. Like so. Next, let's turn the model 90 degrees and then turn it over. We now want to fold, about to do a valley fold along this central crease here, like so. Turn it over and fold this point here down to that point there, so we have a symmetrical folding along the central line. We now want to take this fold and we want to bring it down to this fold here. So we're just lining this up. I'm going to produce a crease along there. On this side. And I'm lining up this crease that lies along here. That lines along that edge here. Use it as a guide. Turn it over and do exactly the same. This point comes down to that point there. Like so. Press down. 
like so. We can now take this flat here, where we've got this crease here, and fold this back on itself, like so. Turn it over and do the same on the other side. Take this flat here, fold along that crease here, like so. We now want to take this edge here, do a valley fold, like so, so that this edge lines along this edge here, like so. Making sure that this fold comes down to this point here, nice and sharp. Turn your model over and do the same with this flap here. Making sure that you now fold this edge along that edge there. Basically bisecting that angle there. Sure that this point here is nice and sharp. And fold it all the way up. So. Next, fold this down, like so. Take the next flat and fold that down. And you produce a shape like this. Where these two edges narrow, we want to follow that line and we want to actually fold this across, producing a valley fold going from here all the way down to the center line here. So we're going to use this edge here as a guideline to where we're actually going to do our fold. Like so. Just about see it. Just fold to about halfway, about there. Fold back. We do the same on this side. This edge here, which goes underneath here, and it goes all the way down to that center line there. We're going to fold this top flap here. So it aligns along that edge there. Like so. Fold it back. Turn your model over. These flaps here. Pull this up and pull that up. These two sections here should fold out, like so. And where we've got those sharp fold points here meeting together, we're going to press down and produce a valley fold along here. Now, these edges here should align along the edges underneath here and here. And of course, this center crease should align along this center crease. Okay? Just using those as a guideline. Press down. You notice there's a little triangular section underneath here. And the actual imprint of that fold will actually come through. So. Next we want to, where we have this point here, we want to actually fold this back and make a vertical line which goes from here down to here. So I'm just going to fold a little bit to begin with. There we go. Like so. Now we also want to make sure that this center line remains together all the way along. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to see from this side, but once I've made a little bit of a crease, I haven't, I haven't pressed down too firmly, turn it over and you might be able to see a bit more clearly. And then you can judge whether you've got it right or not and make minor adjustments like so. Okay. Turn it back over. Make sure that these creases here come to a sharp point. Just press down nice and firm. 
like so. Next, we're going to make a valley fold of, from this point here down to that point there. So I'll bring this point here. Make that point nice and sharp and that point nice and sharp. This point doesn't have to go all the way up there. We just need to make sure that this point and that point are nice and sharp. Press down. Like so. Next, hold that center point, center line down, and you can open that out like that. And you've got a natural fold, which is long hair. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that this bit comes up out like this. Those two go in. So now this is nice and flush. And I have this triangle flat sticking up. We'll do that again. That's how we started off with. It's almost like a fishtail. Take the center line, pull this up into a triangle, like so. These two flaps come in like that and point down like so. And we've got this triangle at the top. This is going to be forming the uh, tail and the back legs of our goat. Put your finger into this triangle that opens out. I'm going to do a squash fold. Keep these two together and press down. Make sure the crease is nicely aligned along that center line. Press down. I'm going to do uh, another fold. Fold this line here to this center line here. Like so. Likewise, on the top one, this line, this edge here, to our center line. Open this one out and open that one out. Lift this flap and then fold in where we have those two creases that we just made. Fold those two in, like so. And squash down, like so. Then fold this flap here, back and back. So produce a line, a valley fold on this side and a valley fold on that side. Now that we've done that, we're actually going to open up that initial triangle. Open this back to that point there. We're going, to, we're going to refold this. Open it back up to a triangle. Now, as you can see, this is actually a flap that we can actually pull out. Like so, the whole thing. And we've still got that triangle, but now it's opened out into a big flap. Like so. Hold it vertically, put your finger inside, and press down. Just initially where we've got the point here, and it should naturally fold along uh, a valley fold which goes from this edge to that edge. You can then squeeze this together, like so. And then we can put our finger in here, we can press this flat down. Form a nice square. And again, we have the creases already. You'll see that there is a crease which runs along from this side to that side. Make a valley fold. Pulling this up to the top, like so. Forming nice sharp legs at the bottom. And a sharp edge at the top. This is going to be the tail. We have two back legs and we have the one tail, like so. Press down, like so. Next, we're going to turn our model over. We're going to rotate it like this. Where you see this corner here and that corner there, we're going to make a valley fold 
from here to here. So we've got to fold our model back like so. And we're just going to initially make a crease. Once we've made this crease, we're going to fold it back again. Just now firmly. Like so. Okay. And fold it back. Next, what we're going to do, turn the model over. We're going to open up this flap here. And we're going to open up this flap here. What we want to do now is where we have this crease running along here, this horizontal crease, we're going to fold that crease so it aligns along here. So effectively you are bisecting this angle here, from here to here. Now, it's important that first of all you stick the nail of your finger where this line meets the center line. It's going to make an initial crease like this. It does help. Put your finger underneath, press down like that. Then where you see this line here, this is going to fold to this center line here. Okay. Now, as you do that, this edge should align along this edge here. That one does. And press down. Okay. And then let it fold back out again. Do the same on this side. Again, I'm going to use a tip of my finger. And I'm going to fold like so. This goes to the center. Once I'm happy with the position I'm at, I can then flatten this out. Make sure this top edge here aligns along that bottom edge there. Once I'm happy with that alignment, I can then press down here like so. Let it fold out again. Going back to this fold here, I now want to fold this fold to the center. Again, I can put my finger here. And this time, I'm going to fold, do another valley fold, fold that there, and fold in like so. Okay. Now this one's a permanent fold. So where we have this flap here, we want to actually fold along that same crease, keeping it, keeping it nice and tight. We now want to take this crease here and we want to fold this back. Do uh, another valley fold. It's going to be a complete vertical fold here. And we're going to do the same on this side. We're going to take this crease here, fold to our center line here, bisecting this angle here. Fold like that. There we go. It should be symmetrical. Once I'm happy with the position, I can then press down, make my fold, and then take this flat. And where I have this crease here, I'm going to fold back like so. Like so. Okay. Just a little bit of an adjustment there. Okay. I'm now going to take uh, this flap here. I'm going to make another crease which runs from this top corner here down to that corner there. Again, keeping this line here nice and aligned to the center. I'll do all my adjustments first of all. And this should make a nice point here. If not, just keep on readjusting before you actually press down too firmly. Mm -hmm. And fold this flap here, make it fold along that new crease nice and tight, like so we actually fold back out again, like so. Do the same on this side. Imagine there is a line which runs from here down to this corner here. I'm going to make a fold, like so, making sure there's a nice sharp, nice sharp point 
goes all the way down to here. Once I'm happy with that initial soft fold, I can then press down firmly. And again, on this lap here, I'm going to fold this one forward like so, keeping this nice and tight. Then I can fold this back on itself, just like that. Okay, I've made those creases that only to actually open them all back up again. Because we are going to fold back, but we need to do an, another fold before we actually do that maneuver. Turn your model over. We're now going to concentrate on the head of the goat, which is this section here. This edge here runs all the way from here up until the center here. What we're going to do is we're going to take this flap I'm going to produce a crease, a valley fold, which runs from here down to here. We're going to follow the line of that paper underneath, like so. And when you do the fold, this edge here, or the, where you see the coloured edge, should align along this edge here. It shouldn't be too far out. If it's way out, then you know you've done something wrong. But if it's quite close, and you know you're right. Make that one crease, pull it back, and do the same on the other side. Again, that edge here aligns along, runs along here. We want to make that valley fold align along that edge below this flap. Once I'm happy with it there, I can make a fine adjustment so I can make sure that this runs along here and fold. Fold it back open again. This can now push in like that. Make a crease along here and a crease along there and fold this flap down like so. I'm just adjusting this because I can see there's a slight movement of the paper there. There we go. Open up that flap there so we've got now we've got a nice white square on the background of brown. Do a valley fold from this corner to that corner. Like so. Now, turn your model back over. And where we made those creases previously, one here, one here, one here, and we're going to fold them back. Do the first two and fold in those flaps here. Open this out, like so. Do the second crease, and fold those in. And open out the third one to produce a nice square, like so. Mm. Just making sure that these folds in here are all nice and tight. There we go. Like so. Okay, just going to bring the camera down a bit. See a closer view. So there's our model so far. The head has this triangle flat here. We're going to turn the right side over like this, and this section here, we're going to fold this edge to the center line, like so. Fold that triangle back, and a second time, and fold that edge to the center. Fold it back out, and fold this one back out. You can now lift this whole section up. And make fold like so. Make 
sure this folder will have some types. Okay. I'm going to do it again. And then it comes back out again. Let's go back to our square. There's our square where we made that fold along here and along there. We're going to open this. We've got a crease along here. We're going to open this out like so and push in the sides like that. Form an elongated di diamond. Okay. We can now open up this section here. Now the first thing you notice, it's not going to lie flat because you've got this flat here and that flat there, stopping this from actually lying flat. So what we have to do is we have to open this flap up like so. And just behind, we are going to be making a crease from this corner down to that corner there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to invert it. This is quite a tricky maneuver, so I'm going to show you very, very slowly. This is what it looks like to begin with. I'm going to invert this, I'm going to push this corner out like that, initially. I'm then going to turn this sideways, and I'm going to fold this from this corner to this corner here. I'm going to make a nice straight line joining those two points, like so. Okay, by just flatten that out. Okay. I can then fold that back. And you notice I can now press that down nice and flat like that. I'm going to do the same. You're going to see it again because I'm going to do it onto, on this side as well. Here's our flat, our annoying flat, that we, so we can't lie it's flat. I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to push that in. I'll actually open this up, then push that in. I'm going to invert this like that. So it's gone from there to there. Okay, so now this folds like that. And this flap, now I'm going to produce a crease from that corner down to that corner there, a nice straight line. Like so. Press that down. Then open it back up again. This time you'll notice that the, this whole section now lies flat. There, this section now lies flat. We now want to take this edge here. We're going to make a initially a mountain fold from this point all the way up. So we're going to produce a new crease along this white paper going all the way up. So I'm going to do a mountain fold. I'm going to fold this section first. Make sure that this mountain fold aligns along this front edge. Once you're happy with that, you can then follow that crease up onto the white paper. Okay. You'll probably notice that I'm making minor adjustments to my, my creases here, just so I get a nice sharp edge, a nice sharp point there. Fold it back out and do the same on this side, this edge here. We're going to do a mountain fold on the paper that lies underneath and make that mountain fold go all the way up along that white sheet there. And fold. So, once I'm happy with that fold, I can then follow up that fold on this section here. Now we've got some more tricky folds. I'm going to fold this back out. Open this out like so. And what we're going to do, where you actually see that crease that we just made, that mountain fold along here, this section here actually juts out like that. We're going to push that in. As you can see on the inside. We're going to push that in like that. I'm going to try and show you. I'm going to try to get the angle of light so you can actually see 
the creases. I'm going to push that in like so. See what I just did? Push it in. So now it sits in like that. And then I've got another crease here and another crease there. And I'm going to push this back out like so. Making sure that this edge is all nice and sharp. This is going to form the horns of our goat. Push it in. And again, this is not going to lie flat because now it's producing that curve. And it's going to get worse because we've got some more folds to do. We're now going to lift this one up. Again, you'll see, if you put your finger in here, you'll see that this opens out like that. I'm going to push this in, like so. And where press down, make sure these creases are nice and firm. And then you've got a second crease down here on the inside. I'm going to fold that back. Like so. Okay. Once you've got the concept of how to do that fold, we're just going to repeat that. Again for this one. Again, there's another one here. We have a crease which lies along here. We'll just push that in like that. Just done nice and firmly, then fold back out again. The creases are already there. You're not making any new creases, the creases are already there. And then this folds into that section there. See, I warned you, this annoying not being able to lie this flat, it's going to get worse and worse. Fortunately, this is these are this is going to be the last fold. It does such. Pull this out, like so. This point here needs to be pushed in along that crease there and that crease there. Then it goes one and then back again. Like so and this folds out. And we should end up with the colored side of the paper a square on the top here. The difficult part is all over. You'll be glad to hear. Inside, pull this leg out flat like that. Can you see? Can you do that? There you go. I'm going to pull this flap out, and it will naturally form a valley fold along from here to here. And it should lie flat, like so. And the same with this other one here. This flap here, pull that out, and it lies flat, like so. Press down. Okay. We're now going to lift this flap here, and we are going to flatten it like that, do a squash fold, making sure that that center line, that center crease, falls along the center here. Press down. We then want to do the same with this triangle here. Take this triangle, and a bit more of an adjustment, as I notice my sh paper shifted. down like so okay. going back to my first one I'm now going to take this edge and fold to the center and this edge and fold to the center one flat and I'll fold like that okay and this one to the center also Open it back out, and then lift this flap, and then fold that to the center like so. So now I've got this flap here. Fold this flap that way, and then repeat that whole maneuver on this one here. 
Drop that edge to the center. Drop this edge to the center. Open them back out again. And lift that flap. Fold this one in. Fold that one in. And then press down, like so. And this flap here, fold down towards me, like so. Fold this flap one. So now I've got this flap here. I want to try and get rid of this flap. So I want to actually tuck it inside this whole section here. First thing I need to do is I want to take this point and fold to the center point there. Fold it like that. I lied. This is another tricky move. So I'm going to bring it closer. I now want to open up this slightly and I now want to push this in like so. It hides inside. Now you need to open that one up, fold that in like that. And I want to take this section and I actually want to fold it forwards. Once I'm happy with that, I can then you know, bring it back to where it was. And I just as I fold that in, this bit all collapses in like that. And we end up with exactly the same model, but now that flap that was sticking out is now inside. I want the end bit here not to have too many folds inside because I'm actually going to be manipulating that. So I, once you've got too many sheets sheets of paper folded, it becomes very, very difficult to fold and sometimes it can tear. So there we go. Next, we're going to move away from the head. We're going to go concentrate on this section here, which is going to be the front legs and the back legs. But this tail section we're going to completely fold in half like that because we want to put these flaps down. I'm going to actually fold this section over like that. I'm going to concentrate from here. You'll see that there is a crease line along here. Fold that in so that this edge goes into the center. Oops, sorry. So this edge here folds into the center here, like so. As you fold in, this section here, you'll see that we have a, a mountain fold here. We almost want to invert that and produce a crease that goes from this point, this point up until that point. So we're gonna make a new crease like that. It should fold fairly naturally. I'm gonna make sure that this top point here is nice and sharp. So. First of all, and then continue that crease moving along here, making sure this edge lines along here. And once I'm happy with how it is folding, I'm then going to lie it flat and then press down for the whole lot. And that's what you should end up with, this, like that. Okay? And then you can, there is a natural fold along here. Okay, so I can actually fold this down, like so. Okay. I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. So if I was slightly out of shot, I apologize. Fold this over, and I'm going to repeat the same move, but on this side. As you can see, there is a fold already that we have along here. First of all, fold that over. Next, this section here, we want to fold this edge to this center, this point, this crease here, where you see the edge of that brown paper along here. So I'm gonna lift this up. I need to push this bit in. Then there is a crease which already longs along, along there. This, this one's folding by itself. And I'm producing a new crease which lies along here. Make sure that this top point here 
holds nicely like so. Once I'm happy with it, I press it down. And then where this folds like that, I can just move up and backs and forwards. I can make another fold along there and push that down like there. There, I've made my two front legs and my two back legs. We're going to move back to the head. I'm going to lower this, lower the camera a bit. So you can see a bit more close up work. There. Now some very small folds here. These are ears. These two ear these two are going to make the ears of our goat. These two here are going to make the horns of our goat. The ears, first of all, we're going to take this edge here and we're going to fold to our center. Just this top flap. Fold it in like that. Same on this side. Take this edge. Fold it in like so. Okay. We're now going to fold this ear, not all the way down like that, but this point is going to align along here to this point here. So it's fold it like that. There you can see. So the point of the ear is actually aligned along that fold that we did previously. It goes there. I'm going to do the same on this side. Take this point, fold down to that point there. Okay. Perfect. Now you'll notice that there's this section here, this fold along here, and that fold along there. We're actually going to push that fold in, like so. So it makes a floppy ear like that. So that in there just pushes in like that. I'm just pushing it in with my nail like that. Okay, same on this side. Hold it in the center, lift that flap a little bit, and then just push that in like that. Okay, like that. Always a difficult uh, fold to show because the fingers are so big and the actual folded bit of paper is so small. There, my, I've got my two little flappy ears that are folding forwards. Goats have ears that flop over their eyes. That's what we just produced. Okay. Next, we are going to fold the whole model in half. Down the centre here, we're going to do a mountain fold. Okay. Fold that like that, like this, like this. Goes down like that. Okay. There's our mountain fold. There's our model. Using that bit there. Okay. We're now going to do a bit of the tail. This is the tail here. You'll see there is a crease that runs from here up until here. Use that as a guide to actually bend this back on itself, like so. That's going to produce our tail. Okay. We can then, this comprises of, on this side, comprises of one flap, two flaps. And on the other side, one flap, two flaps. We're going to take the first flap, and we're going to fold it. We're going to, we've got two pockets here. We've got an inner one, we've got an outer one. The first flap goes into the inner one, like so. Open up the second pocket and then fold this second flap into there, making sure this is covered. There we go, that's one side. Do exactly the same to the other one. Open up the inner pocket. As you can see, I've got one, two pockets, outer pocket and inner pocket. Fold the first flap into the inner pocket. Open up the second pocket and fold the second flap into that. And then you end up 
with the tail, like so. Hold it back. Now these legs here. This leg here, we have a crease that runs along from here to here. So there's a section where this crease hits this edge. From that point to that point there, we actually want to make a crease runs along like that. I'm going to put, sorry, we're going to fold this forward, and then we're going to fold this back like that. And this should sit in between there and there equally. So where we see this fold over here, we've got a section there and a section there. They should be equal, like so. Okay. So fold forwards and fold back. Okay. Use that as a guide. Do the same with the other side. Fold this forwards, and as you can, you can probably sort of see that section from here to here. That's the area we're talking about. This goes forward, and then this very accommodated virtually in the center. So you've got a section there and a section there. That's that's your guide as to how far forward you fold. Once you've done that, open it back out, and we're going to push that in like so. So one of those folds, like that, goes in like that, same on the other side, pop that back out, open up the centre like that, push in. Okay. You now fold this back along there, and same on the other side, and fold that one back. We now want to take this flap, and we're going to fold this like that. the same on the other side, fold it like that. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to invert that fold like that, and the same on the other side, invert the fold. And then, do exactly the same, fold this one forwards. Not too much of a judgment on where you should do this, because you're going to adjust it later, folding this one forwards, inverting on itself. These form the front legs. Try to make them the same length as front legs. Now we're going to do the back legs. Back legs, we're going to take this whole section here. You'll notice that this um, gap here doesn't go all the way to the top, it only goes to there. However, if we hold the back of the tail and then fold that whole thing like that, we invert the whole thing. And press down. There's our back legs. Okay. We're going to open this up just like the front legs and we're going to invert a fold from here to here, like so. Press down like that to produce the back legs and straight away you can actually invert it back to produce that nice back leg like that. Same on this side. We're going to Open this out, push that in, then push it back on the back leg, like so. There's the back leg. And you can adjust these, like so. Okay, we're almost there. Now concentrate on the front of the goat. Now, if you look in this section, you've got this whole load of paper here. If you find uh, the center there, what you want to do is you want to produce a crease from here to here. You're actually folding this forwards like that. Fold that forward. And what happens is, is the horns actually tend to stick up like that. So I'm folding that like that. There's one. And I fold it on the other side. It's two. And then when I do that, I can then push this up like so. Form the goat head. Like that. Sorry, it's a little bit scruffy. So 
So I'm actually almost crimping it. So it's just very fiddly. Oh, it goes down like that. There we go. Now I'm going to open this up and where I've got those front legs there, you'll see you'll see there's a crease which runs from here to here. Do a mounting fold across there from here to there, like so. Okay. Then from about one centimeter, two centimeters, you have to judge it because you don't want the neck to be too hard. I want you need to then fold this back. I'm gonna go about that far. Hold that bit there because when you do flatten this out, it will tear. Press down and fold that back like that. We're almost there. There we go. Now, if you want some immediate gratification, that this actually does look like a goat. Let's do the nose. The nose, you need to fold this in like that. And then partially fold it back out again, but at 90 degrees. Like that. To form the beard of our goat. Sorry you can't see much of this because you'll say fingers get in the way. Morning, Simon. Morning. And there's the beard of our goat. Like so. Now finally the horns. What we're gonna do is we have one, two, three, four flaps. Flatten that out like so. And then push down like that. That's our first one. We're gonna carry on doing that. We're gonna do two more on this one. Open it out, like so. Hold it there, push like that, then squeeze together. Okay. Do exactly the same on this side. One, two flaps on the inside. We're going to hold it like that. Sit down, squeeze together. Do a second one, hold it there, open that out, and squeeze together. That forms our ears of our goat. Final section is so we're going to make the back legs look a bit more uh, separated from the front of the body. So I'm actually going to push this in. I'm going to, there's a fold which goes from here down to here. Do a crimp fold. Like so. Then you'll probably notice that the legs are actually the front legs and the back legs are too close together, but we can do a little bit of an adjustment here. We can pull the front legs up forward a bit. And also pull the back legs a bit. And there's our goat. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.